Hi, I'm John, I'm on board Corrick. Uh, we were gonna to put together a little bit of an episode about reefing and we did that the other day when it was the right weather for reefing, but the footage was a bit mangled because it was just a bit too breezy and, and the, the bouncing around didn't help. So I'm gonna do this in slightly more benign conditions. So there's a reasonably light breeze, but we're gonna put the reef in. Let me show you how this goes. I hope you enjoy the video. So imagine that we're sailing along and we've decided we'd want to put a reef in. Um, the way we're rigged, we would always try to put that in on this, on the starboard tack. So it's the number one reef, as I can see what's going on there. But what we'll do is we'll leave the head silk sheeted in. We will close the main sheet out. That's the reef line all the way down. Put the jammer back onto the main halyard. Into the drum. That's the halyard tension off. Jammer back down. Then I can sheet back on the main. Kick her on. And we are sailing. The only thing we've got is a little bit of the second reef is hanging around. If, if we're likely to put that second reef in, we just take that line down to get it out of the way. And we're one reef in. It really is nice and simple. Well, if you can imagine, it's a couple of hours later and the wind has continued to increase, but we're on the other tack and I would put the second reef in on the port tack uh, for reasons that are, should be pretty obvious as we go. Um, so it is an exact replay of putting in the first reef, but doing it on the second tack. It, it'll go in on both tacks, but it's better to be able to see it. So. Power the main so that it's no longer driving. Release the kicker. And now we're into being able to ease the main down again. So she turns on, jammer on, off rather. And we're now pulling in on the red reefing line there. I lower the main, bringing it all down under control. different kettle of fish. We don't have the third reef rigged all the time. It is this green line here under the boom. And the reason that it's not rigged is that it would be going all the way up the um, leech. Um, so what we now need to do is we need to rig the third reef. For this, we need to keep the main in tight. If it was lumpy, I would of course have a harness on but we're in flat calm in the Solent, so just imagine that's there. But what I now need to do is rig the third reef. Now I have put 
a little mouse line in the back that will allow me to do that without lowering the sail down so I can rig this with the sail in place. Let that off completely. Then so while I'm clambering all over the deck here, it's probably worth saying that this uh, routine for rigging the third reef using the mousing line uh, is a best case situation. In the worst case situation, what we would do is lower the main um, and tie it down as well as triangulating the boom so that it didn't move such that we could then rig the uh, reef line itself and um, get the reefing eye onto the staghorn at the gooseneck end. It's probably also worth saying I've never had to do this. I've always had boats that have had a um, tricell. So I've tried it out a couple of times and it seems to work well. Um, so I'm optimistic about it. here in that the eye is at the mast. So what I now need to do is lower this down. And Elizabeth is going to this has to be a little bit two-handed so Elizabeth you can hold that right. The way the third reef is set up um, we can either take the reefing eye on the luff straight down to the ram's horn at the gooseneck and hook it on as you would do for normal slab reefing. Um, alternatively, we could rig a snap shackle in there, put the third reefing line through it such that we could rig it in exactly the same way we did with the uh, first and second reefs solely from the cockpit. That would just take a little bit more setting up, which we would probably do when we were rigging the third reef. Um, but we have options. Back into the boat. Jammer down. Enough weight to make sure it doesn't come out. And then I can pull in on the green reefing line. And then we can push it off. It's fair to say when you're doing this for real, you're probably setting up for a reasonably long time. I, I, and, and you would probably have to put it in at sea. Going out with that storm sail up, I don't think I'd really be doing, not unless there was an extreme situation. Um, and then once you're in, you need to get it sorted up and tidied up. I may remove the, um, the stack pack in order to keep that out of the way. I might put another reefing line or a, a, an earring round just in case it slips but that should be solid in very severe winds. Taking it out is just the reverse. I hope you've enjoyed this video.